What's up, everybody? I'm Jackson. And I'm Kenny. And we are JK, JK Builders. Builders. Today, we're going to be doing a speed build and review of Perhaps. custom Luke Skywalker lightsaber Lego set. If you've been following along, you've seen that we've been building lightsabers. So far, we've built Cal Kestis, Yoda, Kylo Ren, and Anakin's. Um, today, we're going to be reviewing and speed building the one from Return of the Jedi that Luke Skywalker uh, built and uses in that movie. Um, it's also, I was thinking about this just last night, it's the one that he uses in The Mandalorian. So, uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> if you haven't seen The Mandalorian, uh, Luke Skywalker uh, shows up at some point and uses his lightsaber. So it's the same exact lightsaber that he uses in Return of the Jedi that he uses in The Mandalorian. So hopefully everybody's seen that by now, especially if you're watching something related to Star Wars. Um, that would probably mean you're a Star Wars fan, and you've probably seen The Mandalorian, I would hope. So, anyway, let's check out the speed bill, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. See you in a second. Custom Lego Luke Skywalker lightsaber. Now this one was, uh, this was probably the easiest build I've done so far. It's probably pretty close to what Yoda's was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, it was really, really simple. Um, the one part that I had trouble with was just here at the bottom. Um, the Bricklink order that I made actually sent me the wrong Technic pins. Now I don't know if they were fake Technic pins or what, but they did not work. I had to go into our extra parts bags uh, to find Technic pins and then it worked perfectly. So uh, I, comment below if you've had issues with BrickLink. I've already, I've only dealt with them on these lightsabers. I've ordered uh, parts for five sets from them and I've already ran into a couple problems. So uh, it's been kind of frustrating, but once I figured out that those Technic pins were wrong, it worked just fine and I didn't have any problems other than that. There's a couple things on this lightsaber I feel like they could have done a little bit better. Uh, here where it goes from gray to black to gray to black, um, if you look at Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, it's actually thinner on the black pieces, I believe. Um, so I wish they would have found a way to do smaller pieces on the black ones. And then, probably come to... I, I feel like there's got to be a way that they could have done that. But um, all in all, it looks, it looks really good. It looks really close to the source material. Um, from far away, it looks extra good. When you look at it close, I just feel like that's a little bit off as far as this part goes. Um, but yeah, this is very similar. The emitter is very like the uh, the one that Luke uses. Uh, they got the gold pieces right. I love how it goes thin here to wide. Uh, it's got the green piece for the green emitter. Of course, his lightsaber is green. It's got the little hook so you can hook it to your belt. Um, 
So overall, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really good. Um, Jackson, what do you think of this one? Um, well, um, I really like how it looks. I, I love how it looks on every lightsaber. Um, you said this, it looks pretty skinny. It does look kind of skinny compared to some of the other ones. Like, so here's Anakin's. Um, compared to that, it looks quite a bit skinnier. It, it just feels lighter and smaller and kind of cheaper than Anakin's. There's just not as much to it. Um, but, you know, maybe that's the case. Maybe it is a little bit thinner lightsaber in real life. Uh, it's not quite as bulky here around the base. Uh, this one has uh, some just some extra parts on it that make it a little bit more bulky. But maybe that's by design. I don't know. But yeah, overall, it just feels a little bit a little bit cheaper, and it was cheaper. It, it was uh, it was probably about thirty dollars plus shipping to build that one, maybe a little less. Um, but yeah, I think overall it's like thirty to thirty five dollars with shipping. So so should we compare it to the other ones? So you got just overview once again. You have Luke's, you have Anakin's, you have Kylo's, you have Yoda's little guy. And then you have Cal Kestis. Big guy. The big guy. So those are the five we've built so far. Have I ordered pieces for them? Oh, I put the pieces in for Darth Mauls yesterday, and it was going to be like 55 bucks plus shipping. Um, I expect that one to be a little bit more expensive because it is the largest one, but that was a little pricey. And I'm building it. So I'm going to keep trying to see if I can get the price down a little bit on that one, but that's the next one I'm shooting for. Again, we're still trying to do the dark saber. That one as well, the price has come in over $50, and that's just kind of steep. So I'm trying to get them a little bit cheaper than that. Um, overall, Jax, which one so far is your favorite? Hmm, my favorite probably so far is, huh, I'm probably going to say cows. Cows? Yeah, that's what you said before. So unless this one was better. So out of these three or four, I'm actually going to choose, um, my second favorite is probably Kylo's. Yeah, I like Kylo's too. I like the amount of detail it has. Um, it's definitely between Anakin's and Kylo's, but I just like the detail. I like all the little things that they did. How you can see the inside of the lightsaber there, how it's kind of opened up and how it has this red band that goes through it. It's just like the actual lightsaber. So that's probably my favorite, um, followed by Anakin's. And then probably Luke's and then Cal's and then Yoda's. Yoda's is cool. It's just really small, you know, and simple. So, All right, so there it is. The custom Lego Luke Skywalker lightsaber. Which lightsaber that we built so far is your favorite? Which do you plan to build? And uh, what do you think of them? Be sure to hit the thumbs up button right there to like the video if you enjoyed it at all. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It'd be very much appreciated. And until next time, keep on cutting.